I just have a question. You know, I'm not a big old scientist or nothing, but right. I try to be in everything and hear everything, and I read a lot. And an article had came out um, in SF Gate, and um, it was actually Sal Bloom, Sal, and Bloom. some guy from the Navy. And this individual, I guess he had worked at the Navy or worked with the Navy or something, but he had basically stated that he wouldn't even let his own kids play over here. So me hearing that from an individual that had worked with you previous or maybe still is working with you, for him to make that type of comment, why would I as a parent feel safe when it's coming from either an ex-Navy official or a Navy official basically saying that they wouldn't even let their own kids play over here? I think it's the article that was on, the thing that was on NBC Investigate. I mean, so it's kind of alarming to me, you know. At the end of the day, I don't really talk to you. It's not my purpose. I talk to Miriam. I talk to Bob. You see what I'm saying? So I put my full trust in them when they bring me back information. But then if I have to go, they're bringing me back information that you're telling them or that the Navy is telling them. And so then it's like, well, God, Miriam says this and says this, but they're getting their information from the Navy to make it make me feel like you guys are telling them so that they could pass it off on the community. And at the end of the day, they're looking bad in the community's eyes because they're getting mixed. I'm kind of getting pissed right now. I ain't even gonna lie. That's why I sent my daughter out there. I'm, I'm still really starting to get mad because I'm reading it, and this is not the first time a Navy official has spoke up about the work that you guys done out here. It was, that's how it really leaked to the media. And now we got other Navy individuals saying X, Y, Z. And at the end of the day, this man said he wouldn't even let his own kid. And I look on this paper, right? I got to take the paper to my manager back there. I had to show this to my manager. Do you see that? That's right outside my door. Do you know? But hold on, because I always let you finish. I get tired of you cutting me off. I do. At the end of the day, I got a 12-year-old daughter. Flounder Court, that was the first site that I lived on when I moved here. All right? Flounder was the first site. Now I'm at the end of Reeves Court in this big old nasty sandbox with this big old play structure that you're telling me is not dangerous to my kids. I'm like this here, you can tell these 24 families that they need to relocate so that you can do whatever work you need to do up under their units, then you could easily say, we need to do something to that piece of play structure for the protection of those kids. You willing to take down a whole building, why not get rid of that structure? That's all I'm trying to figure out.